Okay, what I've done is shown you how to connect the, um, the wires to the screw ter terminals. And now I'm going to move this aside and I'm going to show you how to wire nut these together. Uh, these, remaining, um, these remaining wires. What you're doing here is you have to take uh, the hot coming into the, um, uh, coming into the switch, of course, brings the electrons from your electrical panel sends it through the switch when you turn it on to light up your lamp post. And what you need is a return path back to the panel itself to complete that circuit, complete that circle. So the white wires or the neutrals will do just that. They'll pass through the, the, the electrons pass through the black and then come back through and will pass through the, uh, the neutrals or the whites. So the way we make a connection here to make, uh, make these two to go together is using what's called a wire nut. And here's a wire nut. What we do is we put the two together just like, just like so. And we are going to hold them together side by side like that. Now I'm going to take my linesman's pliers and I am going to squeeze them together, holding them tight. Try to get this out of the way there so we can see. It's important to hold these nice and tight and I'm going to twist them together using my linesman's pliers. Now you know why these are so helpful with these nice big flat surfaces. And I squeeze it together and twist forming a little twist like that. Now one thing you do at the very end and this is why you want to have your again safety glasses on is you want to take your linesman's pliers and just at the very end clip that off like that. So you flatten that edge a little bit. So you can end up with something that looks like that. Now again, putting my trash into the little bin here, I take my wire nut, I'm going to hold on to the end here and I'm going to place my wire nut over that connection and I'm going to push and turn and you see these have little wing nuts on the end. I'm going to go ahead and twist that really nice until I have a nice firm connection. You don't want to really over torque it just until you feel it stop and then as you see if you pull and yank on that that's not going anywhere. We've got a good solid connection. Now we're going to do the exact same thing with our ground. Before I do that I'm actually going to fold these wires in all the way to the back and you see how I just kind of curl it up and I push it back. Just like so. Now before you do this, your instructor is probably going to want to see the job you've done with the wire nuts. So ask him to take a look at that. I'm going to do the exact same thing, wire nutting these together, like so. Again, three or four good twists. Go ahead and clip the end. Then I take my wire nut, nut those together. And there you have your ground. Now, when you go ahead and put this in there, realize that your ground, you never ever want it to touch any of your terminals here. And there's actually a way that you can prevent that. And that way is to wrap some uh, electrical tape around the back part here. We're not going to do that in this case but it's because we have a pretty deep box, but it's not a bad idea to do that just for extra precaution. That way if something happens and any of the metal touches this, we won't worry about shorting out the, um, the breaker on the panel. 